Hi, I'm Steve. And I'm Ed. We're the 6-5 guys. Today what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to do part two of our closer look on barricades. We're actually going to talk a little bit about a parapet, shooting off a barrel, and a soft horse. How can you actually get into barricade shooting without spending a lot of time or money to have some of these props to practice? Ed, you actually built this forest. Do you want to walk us through some of the design and how we put it together? Yeah, absolutely. So, so the idea was to create something that, that anybody can put together using common household items. And, and you'd actually given me the, the suggestion of, of using uh, milk crates. Yeah, it's funny how that idea came about. I was sitting in my garage doing some dry firing, and I saw a, a couple of milk crates that I had storing stuff in the garage. Right. And I was moving things around to actually put the barricade up to, in my garage to do a little bit of dry fire practice. And I'm, the thought came to me, I was thinking, wow, this is actually pretty close and stackable from mm -hmm. a, to actually create a, bar uh, a parapet. Because we talked about putting one together for a while. Exactly. And of course, you probably stole your milk crates, but I wanted to <laughs> obtain some legitimately. And I didn't want the, the cheap uh, you know, milk crates that you see for... for uh, Storing files and like such. Office Depot and stuff. Right, yeah. exactly. Um, so I found out that at Home Depot, they actually sell these uh, genuine uh, milk crates. They're they're a little over eight dollars, and they're actually called authentic uh, dairy uh, crate, uh, made by uh, GSC. They're pretty sturdy. Yeah, th they are. And um, then I just had some uh, scrap uh, wood uh, sitting around the house. This is actually uh, inch and a quarter plywood that uh, we had used uh, for a flooring project. Yeah, it looks like you have zip ties on. Right, all I, all I had to do is I just used my table saw to, to just cut these to size. They're, ru they're roughly uh, 12 inches wide by, by 14 inches long okay. uh, to, to approximate what we're seeing at, at some of the matches. Right. Secured them uh, with uh, zip ties. And then as far as keeping all the crates together, uh, just use a, a, a few bungee cords right here. Right. And, and the nice thing uh, about these uh, crates is uh, you can ballast them if you want to. Yep. Uh, you could also use them uh, for storage to, to bring stuff to the range. Yep. And then uh, when we get done shooting, you know, you'll, you'll take home one half, I'll take home the other half. So we also have the ability uh, to practice uh, independently to right. do some dry fire. Yep. After I, I constructed these, I, I realized that these could also serve uh, as a substitute for a, for a proper barricade. Yeah. Uh, you can just put you know, a piece of 4x4 four four, uh, right on top here, and uh, you can see I, I took a picture. I, I didn't bring a 4x4 four four with me, but when you do that, uh, you can rest your rifle on, on top of these various stages just like you, uh, you would a proper barricade. Yeah. Um, talk us a little bit through the different heights and what we were trying to replicate here. Yeah, so in, in our, our regional matches, uh, they had built a barricade that was, was like this with these, uh, with these uh, three heights. Well, we'll go ahead and pull up, show a picture of this mm -hmm. uh, so you guys kind of know what we're talking about. But what we're trying to do here is actually simulate some of the match conditions mm -hmm. that, that, we practice, that we actually compete in. And I mean, yeah. they could have just as well constructed a parapet that went, you know, in, in order, but you know, theirs just so happened to be like that. So again, we wanted to simulate what we would in. in well, like the fact match. that you know we can actually space them apart a little bit more if we want to do. Yeah, that. yeah, and, and I mean, we could we could actually get pretty creative with our drills. We could space them apart. Yeah, and then and then move to the to the various levels. So I mean, for the. For the folks that are, are just getting into this and they want to approximate match conditions, with, with an investment in um, eight uh, milk crates and some plywood uh, and just some scrap wood, you essentially have a, a parapet and a barricade system. So tell us how much cost-wise, how much were you all into the, for the project and how, how long did it actually take you to put it together? Yeah, so eight milk crates at eight ninety nine dollars a piece at, at Home Depot. Uh, Again, this was just scrap wood, and I, I already had the bungee cords okay. um, and a pack of zip ties, the, the heavy-duty 11-inch uh, zip ties. So all in all, if you had to buy everything, you could do it for about a, a hundred bucks, maybe a, a shade above that. Okay. Or um, if you if you know somebody in the milk crate business, you could probably get these <laughs> get these a little a little cheaper. Go to your local uh, 7-Eleven, and they're, they're just stacked up and back, guys. So. <laughs> yeah. Well, like, hey, we're not encouraging. I'm just uh, kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you definitely don't want to do that. We'll, we'll do a quick 
uh, pause on this, and we're going to actually show you a couple of other barricades mm -hmm. as well and do a talk through on those. That sounds great. Okay. Okay. Well, we're back, and what do we have? It looks just like a sawhorse because. By golly, it sure does. That's it, it does, but you know what? It is a uh, sawhorse, and, and actually, before we built our uh, barricades, this is what we used, yeah. and we called it the barricade uh, simulation device. And we, we had two of them, and uh, what, what's nice about these is you can actually adjust the height on this. Mm -hmm. And and so what we did is is we would uh, adjust the height. I mean, you even have like a, a little port here, like like you would on a right. barricade. Yeah. And we use these for uh, for a few months. And, and, and I, I like one of the things I like about it. Not only is it the portability and, and the fact that it's lightweight, right? You can throw it in the back of the truck, right? But um, it is adjustable, and just the low cost. These you can pick up anywhere. I you know I, right, I don't exactly. know you know who wouldn't have a soft horse sitting in the garage. You could actually buy the clamps. Five mm -hmm. or six bucks at your local hardware, get some scrap two by fours, and you can yeah. adjust the height with that cheaper version mm -hmm. for just a few dollars more for scrap two by fours. Now, this is kind of unique. Is this one that you bought at the hardware store? Uh, no, it's one that uh, somebody uh, just left on my property. <laughs> so <laughs> I assume you can buy this um, at, at Home Depot. I've, yeah. I've seen I've seen stuff like this. But you know what you could also do is you can get two of these, and you could even you know, have a four by four or two by four coming across here to simulate a, right. a long horizontal barricade, which is actually one of the barricades uh, that, that we have at the local matches. Yeah. So you can get you can get pretty creative. Yeah, I know we, we got creative. You know, we would do stuff like you know tip it on its side and shoot off right off exactly. this. Um, you know, a little bit off camera. What you guys don't see is there are some benches. We typically just use whatever we could that was right. on hand at the range mm -hmm. um, to try and come up with some different things to shoot off of just to create a new challenge. Exactly. So let's uh, transition then and, and show them the barrel. Okay, great. Here, I'll just, I'll just pull right in. Okay. Sandbags. Yep. Keep it, keep it from rolling here. And uh, I mean, this is exactly uh, what it looks like. It's just a uh, a rain barrel. You can get it in the agricultural uh, supply store. Yeah, and I've seen these, uh, you know, at hardware stores or even mm -hmm. at some of your um, home preparation type stores. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So these run what about ten bucks? Some maybe twenty five somewhere in that range. Uh, they're they're around twenty five dollars. Okay. Um, you you could probably pay more in, in some places, um, but yeah. Um, you see a lot of uh, matches, uh, and you said IDPA matches, they buy a bunch of these and they stack them up uh, to make them opposite. And uh, besides uh, shooting off of it like this, and we'll, we'll show you later on how we shoot off of it, again, you can you can also use it as, as a bit of a parapet uh, by just turning it up on its side. Yeah, right we've, here. we've seen uh, in our match from time to time that actually tip it up like exactly. this and then shoot off it in, like, uh, in the upright position. And, and we haven't done this yet, but I've seen where they have taken this barrel and put it on top of two sawhorses to simulate a horse. <laughs> I, I actually saw that on some of the cowboy uh, action uh, matches that, that they actually make you straddle this like you're shooting off of a horse. Right. So again, you know, common, common items that you can get really, uh, really creative with. Well, we hope that you've uh, enjoyed what, what uh, we've done as far as building barricades and, and improvising common uh, household items. I'm sure you all have uh, ideas. Uh, please share them. Uh, please send them in to us. So, guys, you know, one of the key things to take away from uh, this installment of Six Five Guys is you don't have to spend a lot of money. You can get creative, find things at hand to actually practice off of. These are the things that we've come up with. If you have any interesting ideas, share them with us. We'd actually like to see what other folks are doing. Yeah, send us, send us pictures and we'll, we'll definitely uh, share them. So remember, life's an adventure. Stay on target. <laughs>